Today, we're going to share, amen, you can write this down, amen, so much has been said, uh, uh, very simple, very simple, I have it right here, it's um, just very simple, that which glorifies God, Woo! now you can call it a subject all you want, amen, but it's a thought, but that overwhelmingly, you know, um, um, for coming out the office. Come on, which, could you say that with me? That which glorifies God. Amen. Say it again. One more time. Oh, come on. Thank God for the word. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I'm, 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 I'm so, so, uh, that's what we, we, we have some examples, praise the Lord, and even in standing, amen, God, oh my God, my God, he is bigger than all the earth, amen, praise the Lord. So turn to um, the, the, book, the, Revel, the book of Revelation, amen, just this, this one passage here that, that to accommodate that, this thought, amen, um, uh, 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 the fourth chapter in the book of Revelation, amen. So, um, but first and foremost, amen, uh, I'll, I'll tell you the passage, the scripture in a, in, in, in a, in a, in a, in a few minutes, uh, but it's the fourth chapter of Revelation. Now, you ever thought about the word uh, glory, amen, giving glory to God, amen, um, I, 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 Mother Hannah used to, you know, sing that, and right, give glory to God, saints, amen, came up when I, I, I can't help it. But think about when I think about that, I, can, I hear her voice. Give glory to God. Hallelujah. He is worthy of the glory. And she going through things in her body, brother. My God, my God. But she's giving glory to God. Woo! When we when we have learned to push back everything that is occurring with us. And give glory to God. Hallelujah. I say it again. When we have attained that, that's an excellent thought. Amen. Out, 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 of, out of all that so, of, of, uh, occurring in our lives. Praise the Lord. Amen. If we give glory to God. Hallelujah, bless the Lord. You'll find out how small it was anyhow. Hallelujah. You, you just see a majestic God, a big God. And, he, and, and so all that's going on, amen, it's, it's the thought process. Amen. It's the thoughts. Praise the Lord. It's the thoughts, your thoughts that magnify it. And how is it getting larger? And the ploy of Satan is to make it expand. And, 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 and make it large and wide till he would tempt you. Now, every man is tempted, amen, when it gets your attention. Glory to God. And I know the Bible says drawn away by his own lust and entice, and it's the lust of the flesh and uh, the pride, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life, and see, so because Satan wants the judgment of God to come upon you anyway. He wants doubt to come out your mouth. He wants you to say, my problem and dilemma and circumstance is too gigantic than God. Hallelujah. But he's a liar. Somebody shout hallelujah if you believe it. And because you believe so that's what's 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 that's really what's going on. We magnify it because it's based on how we we see it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Who was that that said it this week? I, I don't know. Uh, brought up the fact that Elijah said uh, told his servant to now you go look at that again. Oh my God. Amen. And when he looked again, hallelujah, he saw my, not only the armies of the enemy nation, but he saw God as the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. A great army round about them. Hallelujah. And that's what you have 
to see, hallelujah, and your life will never be the same. Amen. So, 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 so what we're sharing today, uh, that which glorifies God. Now, your, 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 there are some things that you do, your actions, whether it's the things you say, what you demonstrate that will bring glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, so what does it mean to, um, 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 to give glory, to bring glory? Okay, now, the word glorified, it, it, uh, uh, without, I don't have no dictionary, I'll just begin to scribble, praise the Lord, because he, he done a whole lot. Amen. Hasn't he done a lot in your life? Amen. And when your expression is your testimony, praise God, it's a basic thing. So, that, this is what it means to glorify. It means to bring honor upon. Come on, think about that. To bring, and we're talking about who? The glory of, of God. Amen. Uh, particularly, especially the honor that's given unto Jesus Christ. And where is he seated? Now, I'm going to walk when I say that. Where is he seated? Okay. Now, the only reason I'm looking at mouths, because I want you to apply that. Amen. Where is he seated? Making for our prayer. So that means we, somebody is going to talk to him. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The best prayer is to pray the word that's already been spoken. My God, my God. Now, one other thing, uh, uh, thing, he's seated there expecting. Come on, somebody say expecting. Now, this is what the word of God says in Hebrew. He's seated there expecting till all. Somebody say all. Come on, do your finger like that until he's expecting until all. Amen. All his enemies be made his footstool. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Now, the thing about it, what I want, because Jesus is not going to leave his place in his promoted place to come back down to do what's already been done. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, point at yourself. I have to do it. Hallelujah. Come on, say it again with conviction. I have to. I have to. Hallelujah. Speak the word according to it as God has already said it in his word. And I receive the victory. Come on, praise him in his house. Hallelujah. And, and so make an intercession for prayer. But, but that, that's powerful. He's seated there. That brings glory to God. Our actions, the things we do, whether uh, we say it, are demonstrated, amen, um, um, that brings glory to God, amen, or to what we bring honor upon, bestow honor upon him. We, 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 we bring, uh, bestow praise and admiration unto God, amen, particularly the honor that he bestowed upon Jesus. And you know what? I'm going to say, I admire my God. Amen. Praise God. I, I, I admire my God. Hallelujah. Amen. So, um, 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 uh, to bring glory means to entreat more excellent, amen, than normally you would consider concerning anybody. Bless the Lord. Now, there are a lot of honorable people in the earth realm. Glory to God. But 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 Jesus, amen. We bestow, bestow more excellence and more honor and more affirmation upon him than anybody. I wish I had some help in here. Hallelujah. That's bringing glory to God. Amen. Particularly, this is the scripture. Praise God. Now, uh, 11th verse. Okay, you, you have the fourth chapter already in Revelation. Amen. And so, I, and it said, Thou art worthy, O Lord. <laughs> Your quietness don't bother me. I'm just about to lose it up here. <laughs> Good God. Thou art worthy, O God. O Lord. To receive glory and honor. 
<laughs> and power. God, oh my heart. Woo. I can hardly breathe thinking of the glory of God is in my chest. Woo! My God, my God, my God, my God. He's, 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 oh, he's worthy of all honor, mm, glory, and power. Uh, the, the, the Bible says, for, for thou hast created all things. Glory to God. God, God is the ultimate. He, the ultimate final answer belongs to him. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. And for thy pleasure, they are and were created. Come on, thank God for the word. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. And those are some of the exaltations you said, my dear. Amen. Um, bef before getting up. And I, I'm just, amen, um, I, I come up, you know, in a, a, a choir situation. Amen. I always sung in choirs. Amen. Um, just that, that was my influence, the words. And, and, and I remember a song that, that Dr. Stevens, Ira Stevens, taught us. Dr. Maddie Moss called, taught us. And thou art worthy. Anybody remember, have heard that I remember that? Thou art worthy. Thou art what? Worthy, oh God. Now, this is something else going through the week. Amen. Bless the Lord. That, that'll change your thought process to receive honor. Hallelujah. Honor and glory. Come on. Thou art worthy. Oh God, thou, come on, lift up your hands, art worthy, hallelujah, hallelujah, thou art worthy, thou art worthy, hallelujah, oh God, yeah. to receive honor, yes, 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 I'm worshiping him, honor and glory. Thou worthy, oh, oh God. And then they had a part for, for thou hast created all things. Hey, hey, bless the Lord. And thou hast created all things. And for thy pleasure, they were created. Hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah. Glory to God. Told you I wanted to be a choir director because on that part, I wanted to get up there and say. <laughs> Bless the Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> God knew what he was doing, didn't he? <laughs> That's why a lot of this marching, you know, and uh, now we will receive the choir. And then all of a sudden, all the doors, boom, 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 boom and here they come. Oh, just flash and flash and flash and flash. I saw one just. He was popping. And, oh, yeah, you thought Don Cornelius was in the pulpit. <laughs> now, all, all that flash. So God knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing because. Um, when you see, that's what Satan wants to do with your gifting and abilities. He wants you to see it yourself and not give God the glory. Hallelujah. I, I pray we hear this today. Amen. Amen. When, when, it, your situation will change when you give God the glory. Now, there are three things. There's no way we're going to finish all of them. Um, persecution gives glory to God. Attendance in the sanctuary. You can write this and ultimately last praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So this morning we're talking about what? That which. Uh, that which. All right. That which glorify God. And so it, it has to be enacted. You uh, the things once again, the things you say. Are, are the action, the, are the things that you do in the earth realm. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. So persecution, we're going to look at this. Persecution. Amen. Next is what? Uh, attendance in the sanctuary. And I really want you to know that, 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 that it's the purpose of it. Amen. Um, last uh, praise. I will bless the Lord at all times. What does the rest say? His shall I right, listen to what you're saying now. I okay, come on. I will bless the Lord or give honor to him. Amen. With with orally with my mouth. Glory to God. In the sanctuary. Amen. Uh at all and then in the thing my circumstance I'll bless him at all. what? All right. Can you hear me today? Glory to God. At what? All times. Because his shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. Bless the Lord. That's praise. But let's cover persecution um, 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 first. What is, what is persecution? Amen. Uh, turn to St. Uh, St. John first. Praise the Lord. Uh, in the gospel of St. John. Amen. I, I do feel like, like talking, uh, conveying, amen, uh, conveying understanding. It's the Lord, if I can, uh, but I'm just so happy if I could just, just, just uh, 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 model some balance here. Glory to come, ready to take off. Hallelujah, ready to run. <laughs> Glory to God. So let's look at uh, uh, persecution. Now, what is persecution? Praise God. I said persecution. Amen. Bless the Lord. Now, the Bible, in fact, does say that. If, 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 if anyone is persecuted, uh, my Lord, um, let him be persecuted as a Christian or Christian, amen, followers of Jesus, not as an evildoer, amen. That's what the Bible says. So we want to rightly divide divide this persecution. What is it? It's 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 uh, suffering. Amen. Abnormal suffering or not, just suffering, suffrage. Uh, amen. Things that uh, uh, as the result of the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I believe with that as believers that we are the Determined, amen, to fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Uh, uh, let me see the hands that salvation is precious. Praise God. I'm going to close my eyes. Now I'm looking at a precious. Amen. And the Bible says fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on to what? Eternal life. Where, wherefore you and you and you, uh, you and you and you have professed not only before God, but somebody heard you. And before many witnesses, glory to God, my God, my God, my God. So as, and I want you to know, maybe this will give credence or, or, or calm you down a little bit, amen, that, that the persecution we are as a result, because of the testimony, testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going to have to endure persecution. And so it's as the result of your witness in Christ Jesus, the things you say and the things you do. Now, now you got to be careful now because uh, my, I, 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 getting back to the, the passage of Scripture, uh, what, what, what the Bible says that um, uh, if you suffer, don't let it be as an evildoer, but as a Christian, a Christian now. Because if you steal, amen, it's, 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 it's uh, my God, your prayer should be with. You should repent first. Amen. And when you stand before the judge, you ought to say, God, I don't deserve it, but have mercy. Anybody ever cried mercy? And you know, you know without a shadow of a doubt, the result shouldn't have been favorable to you. But you say, God, have mercy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on. I'm done for real, y'all. Anybody in here, you know the result shouldn't have come out favorable. But you cried, God, have mercy on my soul. And the situation changed. Somebody ought to shout. Oh, you know there wasn't nobody but God. Not because of your goodness, but his mercy. Yeah. 
God I feel the Holy Ghost. It's his mercy. Thank God for mercy. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. But as the red, so you just wear, gird up your loins. Amen. I, I, we, we have entered into an acceptable time. You are, I'm telling you, amen, that according to how the spirit of God is moving, you have positioned yourself in the body of Christ in the time of the fulfillment of God's promises. Oh, hallelujah. So this year going to be, oh, it's going to be magnificent. You are positioned. My God, my God, my God, my God. But, 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 you know, that, 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 that enemy with all of the distractions and, and all of the other things, you got to be careful. Not everybody can handle persecution. Nobody do you want to resort to your old carnal ways. And sometimes you're not going to get a chance to say anything back. You're going to have to endure it. My God, so, 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 uh, uh, don't say, don't, 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 come on, that's an unscriptural prayer. Don't repent, God have mercy. Don't, don't say you being persecuted for right, the testimony of Jesus Christ, when you know you done wrong. I don't care if it's taking rolls of, I work in a, a, a paper factory, uh, uh, we don't make the paper, but converting plants, though. And then this, the product that we get, you send it back. They have giveaways. Amen. Bless the Lord. Have a lot of free. Y'all be wouldn't believe the free stuff. But just because it's free, is it really free? It's free for those planters, for their shop. And so you don't get your, a lot of, I watch the guy. <laughs> He, 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 he's about, he's about five ten, and he always come to, he came to work dapping. Amen. He too old for all that. Bless God. And had two bags. Amen. Luggage bags and my God. And I said that's unusual. You just just bring his lunch back. And then by the time it go, so you have security. You have a, a, a turnstile, and you have security that check everything. My God. And so I watched him. He he had stole some. <laughs> <laughs> some stuff and, and I, my god I realized somebody told me man man you I could believe I tried to stop and he went out to secure when he saw them he did like this little <laughs> <laughs> and went back <laughs> so I don't care that's not your stuff that's still stealing um uh some of us, some of you are, are in charge of budgets, millions of dollars. Of bud Can you understand that? You can, I'm talking about budget, electronically. You are in charge. That's the favor of God. Amen. And, and some, uh, uh, because you're inhuman, you make mistakes. Amen. But that's not being persecuted for righteousness. Amen. And then you so afraid, oh God, and I'm built up of, of euphoria, of, of, of well-being and trusted that, I, that you're going to be tempted to delete something. That's wrong. Okay. No, but I, I think we got the message. Amen. What we're trying to convey is that because of your testimony for the Lord Jesus Christ, that, that when you Endure suffering when you're suffering things in the earth realm because of your testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, you're standing for Jesus without compromise. Now, let's look at the example of the Lord. See, because this is what it is in, in John 15, um, uh, 15th chapter. Uh, uh, th this, this whole uh, chapter is good. Amen. Um, uh, uh, the 19th verse. Amen. Uh, 15th, John 15. 19th verse, if you were of the world, amen, the world would what? The, the world would love his own, amen. Now, we're talking about the world system, okay? Now, in some aspects of the scripture, for, like for instance, God so loved the, it's talking about people in, in, in that passage, uh, people that he gave his only begotten son, amen, for mankind. No matter what color, ethnic background, uh, praise the Lord. But in this passage here, it's talking about the world system, and that is what? The lust of the, lust of the, 
and the pride of life. And the Bible says you hate these things. Amen. Now, when you love these things, you are part, you are of the world. Amen. The world system. And that's what's leading your life. So Jesus said that in, uh, in, in this 19th, now if you are of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of this world, somebody ought to shout, hey, amen, you, I'm talking about the world system, your allegiance is to the Lord Jesus Christ, by choice, by choice, I want to live for him, I want to talk like Jesus. Want to walk like him. Want to be just like him. Now, I'm not going to say the rest of the world when he come. I'm talking about right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My profession. Profession is what you say. And so, while we're in a time of the fulfillment of God's personal promises that he made to you, watch out. Because there are other things. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. That, that, that's going to occur. So if you're of the world, the world of his own, but, it, but because you are not of this world, but I have what? Chosen you what? Out of the world. Amen. The world system. Therefore, the world does what? Hate you. Now, you ought to know by now because of your walk with the Lord that Satan hates your testimony. Agree with Thomas, uh, 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 Thomas Dexter Jakes. A lot of you don't even know what TD meant, but that's what it is. It's Thomas Dexter Jakes. That's his name. Amen. I have to agree with him. This has been a while ago. He said, "Well, I I, I pray. Uh, uh, this is my best Jakes uh, uh, voice. I pray." <laughs> <laughs> that the word that 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 America it is no longer a Christian nation. How did I do? Okay. <laughs> did I do okay? <laughs> Praise. Keep going. Amen. And I have to agree with him. That was a long time ago. America is not a Christian nation. It is a nation that has Christians in it, but it also has other religions. It's a melting pot. A melting pot of, na of, of nations is what, what it's supposed to be. I believe it's supposed to be open borders. Amen. And uh, so other nations going to bring their practices and beliefs. Come on. Can we see that? Right here to America. Right here and you believe in the one and true God. Can we see this? Bless the Lord. So uh, uh, I pray the nation become a Christian or Christian nation and that this be the, the number one belief for all mankind. But it's, it's several. Amen. And you're right in the midst of it. So, 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 so it is a nation. It's not a godly nation, not a Christian nation, but we are Christians in it. My God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So your testimony is under fire in the midst of other, 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 other. It gets me when I hear public figures say, and your faith. Faith in what? Until you say faith in the blood of Jesus Christ, which covers. Hallelujah. Then that's definite. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I hope you're hearing me today. Glory to God, because it's going to happen. It's, it, it, we're in that time. Now, don't get it mixed up with the political. But now, 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 I, I, I'm not a political person. Amen. I keep up. I'm not a registered Republican. I'm not a registered Democrat. I'm not a registered Independent. I do take place, take part in the, the, the voting system. Praise God, because it's my right. And I want to, and I trust God. I'm led by the Spirit of God. Oh, my God, my God, my God. But don't let your political view don't think you're you suffering because of the stand of your political uh, uh, decisions I believe that's not being persecuted for righteousness that's just the stand that you made politically for whatever applies I'm talking about testimony on what the word of God says 
Hallelujah. Now I know and we're going to, a lot is happening. Uh, you remember before the election we were we were heavy in a session and I remember prophetically speaking to the body to the body here on that Thursday saying, you know, going up after the election, uh, it was between Hillary and and and, the, and 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 Trump, President Trump that's now that that a lot of things, a lot of decisions that's going to come down, a lot of uh, uh, political mandates that gonna, that's going to affect people of color. You know what? And it's happening. Now, 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 my God. Now, 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 I'm afraid to say, but I know you're keeping up. And it just seems like the things that that's why we pray for whoever's in office. Amen. You pray for the what? The president. You pray for them. Amen. Because that's what the word of God says. Amen. And, on, and in praying, I mean, earnestly pray. Not to interject how you feel, because if you do, then it's not going to be unscriptural. And I know we got a whole lot of feeling. I mean, it seems like our president is saying a lot of things. Amen. That, that, that. And I was honest with God. I said, God, I, 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 I come up in the Jim Crow system. And a lot of young people don't know what Jim Crow is. <laughs> Separate. But equal? Question mark. It was separate. It's separate. It wasn't equal. And so a lot of the intimidations I felt as a little boy, uh, a lot of the intimidation and the feelings that I feel right now, I felt as a little boy doing the Jim Crow system. I'm feeling it. You know, that's warfare. And so I said, God, it seemed like the things that the high, uh, coming from the person in the highest office of the land is, is stirring up racial divides. When I know God calls us nations. Hallelujah. He called us royal priesthood. And I know that 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 people of color was in the upper room when the spirit of God fell and it influenced the known world at this time. Don't you know before the spirit of God depart, the same thing's going to happen? Amen. And so I said, God, it seemed like the things that has been said from the highest office in the land is stirring up old white men. Now, I'm going to let you suck on that a little bit. Because the millennials ain't going with all of that. But it's stirring up old white men. And I say old because they were there doing when things were separate. But equal, but it wasn't equal. Okay, so this is so much I can say, but this is what's going on. Now, this is a lot of the dialogue I've been, you know, oh, my God. So, but we have the answer. Now, you can't get all in, uh, and, and get off and say, well, I hate white men. Well, I hate white folk. You know how we do it. You got to forgive. <laughs> You're not on the plantation today. <laughs> you ain't got to say swing low, sweet chariot. You don't have to sing that now. You're living in a blessed day. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But this is what we say. Things are being said that's testing you. It's testing your heart. to the surface. Now, where does the persecution ha ha has to come? Because I had so many opportunities to just share away from the house of God. Oh, not on a Wednesday, not on a Thursday. A lot of open doors to share the word of God. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. What the word of God says. Hallelujah. How all civilizations come from the sons of Noah. Hallelujah. The answer is in the word of God. 
My God, my God, my God, my God. I believe Satan wants the body of Christ to be divided. But he's a liar. It has to come to pass. And so as a result of saying the truth in what God says in his word, then you suffer persecution. Well, I'm suffering just a little bit. Friends, you thought were your friends. Ain't your friends no more. And it's not political. It's what the word of God says. My God, my God, hallelujah, glory. Noah has three sons, Shem, him, Japheth. All of them, all civilly are categorized under those. My God. So you're going to have to suffer persecution. Bless the Lord. And you see, then when the truth come out, concerning where you come from and where you've been then comes the gospel bless the lord so telling my brother my god your love is not perfected uh, and it wasn't the same color i was my god it about six five over me oh i love that position your love is not perfected and you need to go back to the altar yeah. Woo, bless god i ain't scared that's God. Bless the Lord. Because the good, that, that my God, and, but just like the word of God said, out of all an opportunity, some received the word of God and some rejected the word of God. Come on, bless his name. You on YouTube, I'm not, uh, this is not intended to be offensive. My God. Not intended to be. Bless the Lord. But then come, but but look at the glorified part. The ones that did repent. Hallelujah. I give God the glory and the praise. Now that's true brotherhood there. My God. But 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 the one that did it didn't go so well. Now you're having to suffer persecution. Your name is being defamed. You're being talked about. Okay? For my namesake. Okay, and then, but the persecution that I really want you to enhance, praise the Lord, is 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 that this it is because once a, once a soul, Satan is so much fight over the souls of mankind. Believe you me, there is an aggressive warfare concerning the souls of mankind. Hey, hallelujah! And that's our position. That's our job. Glory to God. Because when they are one to the Lord, glory to God, there are other things. Some need healing. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Some you're going to be benevolent unto as the Spirit of God leads. And some, oh my God, we are here to be of help. Jesus came to reconcile. And that's what we do. We come to reconcile. As Christ did, we also. This is what the scripture said. Amen. So, so when you're doing what, exactly what the word of God says, there's going to be opposition. My God. Especially when you correct someone. Now, look at Acts. And I, I know we can't finish. Look at Acts 7th chapter. I, I'll finish this next week. Look at Acts 7. Look at that. We're talking about persecution. We can't get for past persecution. My God. But look at Acts 7. Glory to God. I got to find an example in the word of God. Another example. Hey, Jesus already said, if you're not of the world system, amen. Now, anything that's prejudice or bias and, and the Holy Spirit is in your life, you know it already. That's not the spirit of God. Let me say this again. When everything is, when something is biased and separate and prejudiced, my God, and, and it's just not plain right, the Spirit of God living, you already know it. You already know it. And what I'm disturbed about, that, that it is in the body of Christ. That can't it be. So that's my, now you know, that's the campaign of Brother Hardy. Amen. There is separation, there's prejudice, there's bias in the churches that we go to. In our community. And I, not, not, not my, I plan to do something about it. Amen. I'm already influenced. Now, it's going to cost me something. 
But that has to be exposed. My God, for the great revival in Brunswick. Hallelujah. And revival don't all, all, always uh, don't have to be a speaker and congregants. Uh, I don't care if it's at the fairground. It doesn't matter if it's at the football field. It doesn't matter if it's in the church. It don't, it don't always mean revival can outbreak when people gather. Hallelujah. My God. And it has to be with persons of different ethnicities. But you got to know the greatness in you. You are above and not beneath. Oh, come on, somebody. Bless the Lord. So look at Stephen. Look at Stephen. Amen. This is how he dealt with the, the, the separation and the, 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 uh, 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 the, the, the lack of knowledge. They're, amen. Jesus said, my God, they are the one. You, you, in the scriptures that you read, you think you know me. But it's ignorance. Look at Acts 7. This, Pete, this, this is uh, Stephen. Some call him Stephen, and I'm going to close. <sighs> now, everyone knows Stephen was, along with Philip and along with others, he was, uh, uh, there were two of the seven that were uh, selected, amen, uh, uh, in the book of Acts because the apostles said we can't, that there was a, a, a a dispute about because the women of God, those that were non-Jew, have been coming to the Lord. The church was growing, and a lot of the women didn't have husbands or sons. Amen. No income. So um, there it is. What that's a great problem. Wow, isn't that something? My God. So 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 the he, the Peter said, now we can't take, we can't. Take, do this business. You find, look out among you and find seven of good report that they will be able to take care of this business. While the word of God said, while we spend time in prayer and ministry of the word, that's my job. Amen. So they did. Stephen was one of them. Philip was not in a lot. Just read the seven chapter. <laughs> But to think about what, what earmarked Stephen, he was a believer and he did the works of God. You're supposed to be doing the works of God. You're the one. Amen. I pray somebody that you work with on break time say, oh, my God, is migraine just killing me. And you pull the chair back and say, I'm going to lay hands on you right now. Boy, that didn't get nowhere. But I pray it happen. My God, you're supposed to demonstrate the power of God in your life. Oh, 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 because it's all a lot of talk when, when, when work families get together. And a lot of running off with the mind, a lot of errors. But you have the truth in you. You're supposed to correct. Amen. Rightly divide the word of truth. Now, it's going to cost you something. Not for argument's sake, but the passion that brings glory to God. You, you, you do damage to the kingdom of Satan. My God. So, 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 so a lot of miracles was happening in Stephen's life. Praise God. Bless the Lord. I don't stop many times riding down the road and the spirit of God laid upon my heart. I see saw persons that I know. It don't matter what street. And I would get out the car and minister to them. Oh, glory to God. That's my God. Your life is not your own. And this is supposed to be happening for real, y'all. Glory to God. I didn't know a person that, uh, even when it comes to resources, because some of you, uh, are, are, my God, God is blessing you, and you have the spirit of helps in your life. And the spirit of benevolence. And, and I didn't know that. But why did that hungry man, I ain't talking about the ones that be on the side of the corner of exit 29 and 36 in Walmart holding up signs I work for free. If I ever come across one on the Saturday, I'm going to bring them right down here. My God. Amen. And I'll pay them for working. They, that's a good way of discerning the truth. Glory to God. Oh, no, brother. I don't want to have that where you're lying anyway. I'm going to take your picture. Click. Uh, and I'm going to report you. I ain't scared. I don't know no 
no, no. Now, see, they all made me lost my thoughts. <laughs> It just it done fluttered away. So let me come back to Stephen. All right, miracles, signs, and wonders. Okay, look at the. All right, now so Stephen had the opportunity. They said that he was going against the law of Moses. Oh my God, going against the traditions of uh, that was handed down to see they were religious. They didn't really know Jesus. They rejected Jesus. Amen. Now, because your understanding has been enlightened and you know the hope of your calling and you know the spirit of God is in the earth realm where right now and you know there comes a no other after the spirit of God. So the spirit of truth is in you. Hallelujah. And God is speaking to you. Ah, bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Now, now I know where I was. Amen. To those who have the, and I'm going to pray for you too, that has the, amen, bless the Lord. You may not think that you are doing anything, but God prospering you because you are a giver. Come on, somebody. Bless the Lord. And because you are, I'm telling you, uh, because I'm the one. I remember when my wife said, when we couldn't do better, I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, I said, God, when you prosper us, uh, amen, my God, uh, when I can do better, I'm going to do better, my God. Because when I, who would have thought a hungry person, amen. And I'm in Grandis, uh, and out of all of them people, this man came up to me. I think I testified about this before, and his eyes were so and says, sir, I'm hungry. Lord God, I took him by the arms. Uh, first of all, I corrected him. And I said, let me tell you something. Don't, don't come in here. My God, you hungry. Don't bother these folks. He been asking them for money, my God, and telling them this and that. You're going to get arrested. <laughs> sir, I know. I'm hungry. So I took him, took him back to a certain seat, went back up there. Boy, I don't order pancakes, grits, eggs. I mean, double portion. I God, I feel the presence of God. And laid it down. He just went like this. My God, I double back. You know, I ain't never seen him again. Be careful how you. Amen. Amen. As you grow and develop in the Lord, God going to test your heart. I'm going up to the gas spot. Amen. I've done more preaching and witnessing at the gas pumps. And, and then here comes somebody. I, I, out of all of the people, I must be got a sign on him. That's the one to ask to. But I believe it's God. No, this is what I believe. God prospered you. You're a giver. And I'm talking about authentic situations where it's going to be proven. Because the spirit of God is in you. You know those ones who are trying to get over. You know how come? Because when you was in the world, you tried to get over. You walked in the flesh. So they can't get nothing on you because you know the game, honey. <laughs> they can't threaten to slap you because they might get it. Don't get in the flesh now. Don't get in the flesh. <laughs> uh, no, don't y'all slap nobody now. Okay, don't, 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 don't pull out your nine millimeter now <laughs> and turn it sideways. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> don't think I don't know you ain't got one. I do. <laughs> My God. So. The gas pump, the right the, 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 the man come up to me. Didn't have gas money. And in here, you not only you filling up your tank, but you filling up theirs. Oh, come on, clap your hands, tell them thank you. Oh my God. So last Philip, after he corrected the errors of the religious leaders, they rejected Christ. He pointed the way to Jesus Christ, and they didn't accept his testimony. My God, people, I don't care who they are, what color they are, what position they in. When you share the truth in Christ Jesus authentically, not for personal vendetta or for personal, uh, I'm going to get back at them. I'm talking about an authentic situation where you know that's God, where you are pure. That brings glory to God. Hallelujah. So this is what he said. When they reject him, he said, you stiff neck and uncircumcised in the heart. Oh. Now, 
that six five, my, my Caucasian brother, when I told him, amen, uh, your love not perfected. Brother, you need to go to the altar. I, are you prejudiced against me as your brother in the Lord? I'm black. Because I need to know, what do you mean? God, when he puffed up like that, God brought him down. Then we can pray. Then we pray together. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, you look at it that and may think that, oh, what an, what an, what an awesome moment. But it's going to reveal something in you. Now, I'm going to let you think on that a little bit. I'm not the only one whose household. I heard my uncles and aunties and everybody. I come. I had white folks. My daddy stayed in jail. Why? Stayed in jail all the time for fighting. <laughs> he did for fighting, not for not paying the bills, for fighting. Cause it, I had white folks, but my daddy, when he accepted Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, somebody got to praise him with me. Woo! Bless the Lord. You're talking about a changed man? But it's going to reveal something in you. It's going to reveal something in you. I don't hate. I ain't pressing, but it's going to reveal something in you. Because in order to authentically minister the word of life, you got to be pure. It ain't all about the person you're ministering to, but what about you? That's why. So he told them they were stiff neck, uncircumcised of heart. Glory to God. We can think of a lot of things that we can say. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my God, my God. They got so mad with him that they, 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 I like what the Bible says. They said that they ran, they cried, they, they, they begin to cry out, ah! You ever seen somebody get so mad when they don't want to hear nothing you got to say? Oh, God. And then they ran upon him and start. The Bible said they gnashed, they gnashed him with your teeth. Like, oh. This is what this is. Oh. Oh. That's gnashing of teeth. They just, oh. I'm going to get you. That's gnashing of teeth. Then some bit him. They just bit him. And then they wailed him outside of uh, 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 the gate and stoned him. But look what Peter, look what, what Stephen did. Woo! Glory to God. Stephen, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly toward heaven. <laughs> what a way to go. When you know you're going to go, what a way to go. And saw the glory of God. His testimony brought glory to God. Oh, somebody hear me. You, that which glory. Persecution is one of the things that which bring glory to God. My God. And he saw the glory of God. And this is what I love. And Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Y'all didn't get that. That's the only place I read in the scriptures. Uh, my God, when that when Jesus stood up, he wasn't sitting down. Uh, he stood up. Hallelujah. Woo! Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Oh, oh, I didn't want you to miss that, but somehow I got a feeling you missed that. He stood up. He stood up. Can you make Jesus stand up? By something that you say or an act that you do. Hallelujah. And it caused him to say, God, don't lay this sin to their charge. Come on, stand up and glorify my God. Woo! Thank you. Thank you.